This week, uh, we will talk about the how to manage the geospatial data. So we will download the spatial data from different resources, and also we will do some uh, data editing and also join tables together um, and also to visualize the data. So this week, we will also get touch the ship file okay, with the extension of the SHP. So that is actually uh, the most common uh, spatial data. So in the past four weeks, we haven't uh, introduced the ship file yet. So this week we will learn how, how the, uh, we will see that how the spatial data looks like. We will also talk about the uh, uh, the databases, especially the relational database, um, because um, that is the foundation that where we store the data. So if you think about that, the process that we handle data actually, so we store the data in the database. Okay, so that the database because our data is huge and normally we don't store that on our um, uh, computer randomly. So we put that into organized container. So that is a database. And next we have our analytic tools like GRS. Okay, uh, so GRS will load data into the database and also, also will write results back to the database. So GRS will perform some analysis and also will create maps and also some other visualizations. So those will be those output. Okay, uh, so again, so database is a data container that help us to manage and also organize data. And GRS is using the geospatial database. So first, uh, before I start, let's just review the most common data types in the databases. Uh, so we have strings, like a word, like hello. Um, and we have numbers. So depending on whether or not you have decimals, so it can be a float. Or if you are talking about whole numbers, so that will be an integer. Uh, we also have Boolean data. So Boolean data just true or false, yes or no, etc. Uh, so Boolean data also sometimes are very, very useful. And nowadays we also have uh, a need to handle the temporal data. So that is the time or date. So for example, the year, the month, the day, and also time. So most databases now support the, uh, the date data type. And also the measurement of the scale. So measurement scales. So we have mentioned that one in our first lecture. So basically there are categorical data. So like the nominal data and also ordinal data. So nominal data just attribute of the features. However, you cannot do the comparison. So for example, the color. So like red, uh, blue, and also green. So different colors. Uh, ordinal data, so those are attributes, and there is a rank in those attributes, like uh, high, median, and also low. So there is an order in those ordinal data. Uh, for numbers, we have interval data and also ratio data. So the difference between the interval and the ratio is that whether or not we have a meaningful zero, or whether or not we have a true zero sometimes. So if you look talking about temperatures, we know that zero degree is just one degree lower, okay, and then the one degree, so it, it has numbers, but zero does mean it is one degree lower than one degree in terms of temperature. Uh, however, if we talk about ratio data, for example, if you talk about distance, so one kilometer and also zero kilometers. So zero kilometer means there's nothing. So it, there's nothing in terms of the distance. And the one kilometer means that there's one kilometer length in terms of distance. Okay, so in this case, the zero is a true zero. So that is ratio data. Relational database. Okay, so relational database is a is a mostly uh one of the mostly commonly used database nowadays. Um, it has the longest history in the database um, and also most GRS tools that are using 
relational database. So most GRS tool like ArcGIS, ArcGIS Pro, ArcMap, etc. So they can handle data. They are using relational database as the data state data container. So relational database can only store structured data. So that means all the data should be uh, must be organized into tables. Okay, so all the data must be organized into tables. And you can uh, analyze or query the data by using the structured query language, so SQL. So if you have, um, you might have heard this one a lot, so SQL, so that's a very important um, language in data science and also in data analytics. Uh, ArcGIS Pro and also ArcGIS also support um, some simple SQL. And all the entities are organized, or all the objects are organized into tables. Okay? So one entity means that one type of the object that we are interested. So for example, if we're talking about customers, and customers has field, or sometimes we call it column. Okay, column. So a field or a column and that organize the same type of the feature or same type of attribute of one entity. So like the zip code is one field, state is another field, address, name, etc. Uh, we also have the record, or sometimes we call it rows. Okay, so record um, contains information of one specific object. So for example, one customer, they may have ID of one and custom name and also address, state and also zip code, etc. So we have record and so we have columns. And one important fit concept in the relational table database is called primary keys. Okay, so primary key means that the column or the field that is used to identify each row in that table. Okay, so in this case, in the customer table, we have customer ID. So each customer has a unique ID, one, two, three, four, for example, five. So customer ID is, a, is the primary key on the customer table that distinguish all the records on the customer table. And on the sale table, we also have a sale ID, so that is a primary key, okay? So that must be unique. Uh, we also have foreign keys. So foreign keys mean that on the table, if that record or if that column is corresponding to a primary key on another table, then that field is called foreign key. Okay, so foreign key is a column on the table that refer to a primary key on another table. Okay, so on, on the table, you can have one or multiple foreign keys or you can have zero foreign keys, but you must have one and also only one primary key. Okay, and normally we use foreign key to link or to, to uh, relate to the uh, primary keys and so that we can associate the information across different tables. So that is why the database is called a relational database. Okay, uh, so some very common relational database like Microsoft has SQL Server and also Access. So uh, if you have the Office installed, uh, you, you should have Access. So that is also very common. Oracle. And also MySQL. So MySQL is a free version of the relational database. Okay. And also PostGRE Circle. Okay, PostGRE Circle is also another most commonly used relational database. And it has a GRS plugin so that it can support, can save, can store the spatial data directly. So PostGRE Circle can support can store the um, spatial data directly. And also other type of the, uh, a lot 
also, there are also a lot of other types of the relational database.